I get to add my own book to my shelf now. <laughs> Welcome to the Very Brain Podcast, where the goal is to rise above it all, stay elevated, create that infinity up your you. I'm your host, Isaiah, and today we are talking about an apology. What a true apology is, what it looks like, what it feels like, um, and just the capacity to be wrong. Uh, I had a conversation with a buddy recently. They called me out. <laughs> they called me out because there were things that I was doing indirectly that was affecting them. And it didn't make them feel good. And my willingness to apologize is not so much about being wrong or feeling guilty, but also being accountable. True apology involves accountability for what you are capable of changing, what you are able to change. A true apology is accountability. A true apology is changed behavior. And I don't think any of us like being left in <laughs> ambiguity when it comes to our relationships. And I know how that feels. There have been times where I sought clarity for someone's behavior or actions, and I didn't receive any. Um, there have been times when I asked for clarity or there was something that was affecting me that I spoke up about. And while the person said, sorry, they continued to do the very thing that hurt me. So at what point are we on the other side of that? And we have the opportunity to apologize, but also hold ourselves accountable. And I'm not saying apologize for your existence because a lot of times how I move is based off of history and experience with the person or with people in general. So I'm not going to apologize for my existence. Do not be one of the people that apologizes just because you want to keep the peace. You know, your peace doesn't always come with an apology. And sometimes recognize that there is an opportunity for you to be wrong about some people. There are some people who want to show up in your life. There are some people who want to be present in your life and do right by you. But you have to allow that space to exist. And it's up to you. You get to pick and choose who's in your life at the end of the day. You get to pick and choose who has access to your trust, your kindness, your love, etc. It is your choice. Recognize if you do truly value someone and they are showing that they value you, you have to allow space for that to exist and play out. And I know it's hard sometimes to do that, but it is okay to be wrong in terms of your behavior. Apologize for behavior, do not apologize for your existence because who you are comes from a long line of validation and your feelings are valid, just like the other person's feelings may be valid, okay? But be willing to be wrong because that's how you make things right sometimes. And if you're on the receiving end of a person who never feels like they're wrong, and never holds themselves accountable for anything that they do or say, then that's information too. If certain things continue to transpire, then now you have information. A true apology comes with changed behavior, okay? And a true apology does not mean you apologize for your existence, it just means you apologize for your behavior and how it affected the other person. And on top of that, you are willing to change your behavior. You are willing to kind of let some people exist in your life properly. All right? Holding everybody at an arm's length will keep everybody at an arm's length. <laughs> but let some people in. It's okay. And even if they may have disappointed you, and even if they may disappoint you, understand that you have the capacity to build from that anyway. That's what your life has been up until this point. So they will be no different for everybody who is the reason behind this book selling out thank you very much uh it's exciting it's a big deal and i appreciate you guys get in the habit of apologizing get in the habit of being wrong and get in the habit of allowing some people to show up and do right by you and the only way you can do that sometimes is to allow yourself to be wrong about others so take care of yourselves take care of each other and let people take care of you. And most of all, take flight.